with Maria Sharapova yesterday, and here is his interview with her. Looking ahead to a ladies' second round match tomorrow, it'll be Maria Sharapova against Elena Bovina, another Russian. And I think it's going to be very tough to find a seat out there in that court because this 16-year-old has a humongous fan club, and it's uh, growing by the day. I mean, is that exciting for you? You've been, you know, labeled a future champion of, of this and other tournaments since you were a 12, 13-year-old. Oh, yeah, it's a dream come true for me. I mean, playing in front of the Swimbledon crowd has always, you know, made me really excited. Um, I'm really happy to be here. This is my second year, first year as a professional. It's, it's, really, it's really exciting for me. I mean, I've been waiting for this, you know, since I was four. <laughs> so just, just playing out here in front of this wonderful crowd, you know, gives you the energy and the excitement. Well, you had plenty of energy and excitement in your first round match against American Ashley Harkle Road in the tabloids in London had a lot of fun with this match. They, they called it the Battle of the Blondes, but you really dominated Ashley here. We'll take a look at you the serving here in the near court. And you, you had things going. You were pretty emotional from the get-go here. I, I was ready. I mean, from the first point, I was just on. I knew I had to go out there, and I knew it was going to be a tough match because the recent matches, you know, were really tough, and I know that every ball was going to come back. And I was pumped up after every point, and I was ready. I was ready to go, ready to win. Here you are receiving the serve. I have to ask you, I mean, viewers listening, I mean, they can, they can hear the grunts. I mean, on every stroke, you have, you have the loudest grunts in the world, and there's a 6-2, six, 6-1. Six, I mean, I, I, you should be happy, but, I mean, it, it does become an issue. That's just a part of your game, and it's always yeah. been like that ever since you started playing at four? Oh, I've been doing it since I was four years old. Uh, yeah, it's amazing, but I, I just I don't really pay attention to it. You know, once people tell me, I do it. You know, I just go out there, and I play tennis, and I enjoy it and have fun. You know, and then I come off the court and, yeah, you're really loud today. <laughs> but, you know, it's just its natural instinct, and I do try to control myself once in a while, yeah. Obviously, you speak great English, and if people are wondering, it's because you, you came to the U.S. very young to train. Right, you trained right. at the Nick Boletari Tennis Academy. Right. You said you still you know, feel very much like a Russian, that will yes. always be a Russian. I, I am. I mean, I have so much family back there, even though, you know, I've lived in the United States half of Good my time. life, which is pretty amazing, you know, to still be a Russian. But I, I still read the language. I learn it. You know, I do everything around it. When I'm home, I speak Russian. And, I mean, I have Russian blood all around me, you know, and uh, I'm very happy. I mean, I'm happy to be playing for my country. There's so many Russians, you know, in this Wimbledon. It's becoming obviously a factor at every major. You take on another Russian bovina in the next round, an opponent right. you haven't played before. Your right. thoughts on that match? Right. I'm just going to go out there and just do, you know, just do what I've been doing all be my loud. life. Be yeah. loud and good, you hope, huh? <laughs> yeah, just be good. That's exactly right. I'm, I'm excited. You know, I've, I haven't really played her before, but I've seen her play once in a while, you know, here and there. But it'll be exciting. I mean, you know, second round of Wimbledon, nothing to lose. Just go out there and play my best. Really, nothing to lose. Feel yeah. that loose and yeah. fun. I, yeah. I, I want you to know I have a prop. And it, first of all, Maria did not bring this, okay? She's not bringing her own brochure. Her <laughs> management company has produced this. But, you know, inside, it, there's a, a lot about tennis and, and your accomplishments here right. in, in the juniors. But there's right. also, there's a lot of magazine clippings. And there's a lot of focus on, right. on your looks and your glamour. And right. as I mentioned, there's a, there's a huge fan club. I mean, you, you know that when you play there are, are thousands of teenage guys out there you know panting and right. cheering and that kind of thing yeah. I mean, well when I play I don't really know that <laughs> I don't <laughs> think about that they don't make their presence felt <laughs> no <laughs> no when I'm on the court I just do my thing on the court you know when I'm off the court I have to do other stuff you know but when I'm on the court you know there's the world around me is just totally around me you know I'm on the court and I care what's on the court not off it but you're very serious about the tennis, obviously, and, and the oh, other glamorous stuff, the, the modeling, all that stuff is, is very I mean, much in the fun. background. It's fun once in a while, you know, just to do something different. And, I mean, it's, it's always great to just go out and do something different than be on a tennis court. But, you know, tennis is my passion. It's what I've been doing, you know, for almost all of my life since I was four. And it's not something I'm going to give up just because I want to, you know, do be model, you know, or something like that. So I, I just play tennis, and I really enjoy it. You're 16. What's your timetable? When do you want to hoist the ladies' plate as Wimbledon champion? I mean, obviously, you like, you like to do it in about 10 days, yeah. but... Oh, I think time will speak for itself, you know. I mean, I don't know. No one knows. I, I don't want to guess. I know that 
you know, I'm pretty sure that if I work hard, you know, I can achieve many things and I believe in myself and that's the most important thing. And, you know, I don't have any regrets in my life, so there's nothing I want to change, you know. I just know that I'm going to work hard and become the best that I want to be. You got a great attitude, very, very chilled <laughs> out, but also very intense on the court. Maria Sharapova, thanks for your Thank time. You. We'll look thanks for your so match much. against Babina. Definitely you. someone to watch here this week and, and in years to come. We thank you for your time. Welcome back. Our position here, our studio just on the other side of some thick glass from Court 18, where Maria Sharapova, who you just heard from, is serving against another Russian, Elena Bovina, another young Russian. These are two of the many strong young players in that country. This is first set action. These players have never met before. And Sharapova getting the early break. You can hear the grunting through the window. You can see the fist pumping Mary Jo in almost every point from her. She is very intense. She's a very driven young girl. I've been watching her since she was 10 at Voluntary's Academy and she wants it. She wants it more than anything in the world. And what I like about her is that nobody has to push her. She travels with her father, but she's the one that says, Dad, I want to go practice. I want to go train. She wants to be the best and she's on yeah, her way. You can see that she holds there now for 5-3. The photographers are there. The fans are there. And let's go to Tim Ryan now, Mary Curler, for a call of this first set. Thank you, Chris. Well, you just saw Maria Sharapova Hold serve to go up 5-3 in this best of three second round action on court 18. The 16 year old who as Chris's feature indicator has been in the U.S. for a while. Now we're looking at Elena Bovina. Bovina. As she Bovina says. Says, correct indeed. <laughs> Elena Bovina. <laughs> Trying to stay in the first set. Sharapova finds an open court. Bovina has a big game, but she hasn't struck nearly as many winners already in this first set as Sharapova. She's the one who's taking charge of the points as much as she can, going for more. She's had 12 winners and six unforced errors, Sharapova, just going hard at it. The numbers for Bovina, who's considered to have a very big game, are much quieter. As in Bovina. And Bovina <laughs> defeated. This is going to be hard. We don't usually get corrected <laughs> by these players. We, we go for it's the. It's good that we do. A, a lot of times, the, uh, the foreign players uh, and the Czechs, the Russians, they want you to use like some kind of official American corruption of the name. Right. And Sharapova. Rather than uh, saying it the way they hear it back home. Yeah. Net for so service. Bovina defeated Saori Obata in the first round of Japan and. Maria Sharapova got by American Ashley Harkelroad in her first round match. So we're in second round play in the ladies championships at Wimbledon. As you can hear, Bovina is not afraid to make a little noise when she hits the ball as well. 30-15. Tim, I covered Wimbledon here for uh, that's six or seven years with Martina Navratilova, and she hated how we should pronounce these things. <laughs> That's not how you say <laughs> She's yeah. working a whole draw and say these names properly. Well, and yeah. indeed, her, her name, she surrendered to, though. <laughs> yes, she did. Navratilova, and she just gave up when people called her Navratilova, and it stuck. Thirty all. That's long 30, and a break 40. point for Sharapova, which should be Sharapova. Set point. Oh, beautiful pass! And you heard her in very American English saying, "Come on." <laughs> So the set goes to Maria Sharapova.